the NICD presents a tribute to the progress made to date in the fight against polio. Decades after having contracted the disease, these are some of the survivors that we have followed. My name is Johan van der Berg, and I was born in 1950. In 1953, my family, this is my dad, my mom, and my elder brother, relocated to Port Elizabeth, um, where I was admitted to the local hospital for tonsillitis. Um, I was put in an open ward, and the night before my operation was due, uh, another kid lying in the open ward next to me died of polio that night. And he, I believe, was the last surviving or the fifth brother that died of polio in his family. And because of that death, uh, my operation for tonsils were, was postponed and I was sent home for observation. And about, if I recall, about two weeks after that, I was on Humewood Beach with my folks when my legs gave in and I actually contracted polio on the beach. Uh, from there I was rushed back to actually the same hospital. But now, instead of being put in an open ward, having contracted this deadly strain of polio, I was put in a total isolation room where I only had a brick window of glass and that was the only thing that could open and where I could see anybody, but I was totally paralyzed, I was told. I don't have much recall of my recovery days, early days, but memories started flooding back when I could remember when my, I got started getting strength in my arms and I could actually move my head and, and be able to look at the window where I saw my, my parents and my brother, one at a time because of the smallness of the window. Um, I was given a, a coloring book which I then tore the front page off and, and turned around on my cot bed which had railings and, and I then pulled myself across the bed up and down to get strength in my arms. And later, uh, from memory, uh, the doctor and nurse would start visiting me in the mornings and would take me out of my cot bed and put me on the floor and asked me to walk towards a doctor who was kneeling but eventually of course initially I could not do so but eventually that strength in my legs also returned I don't remember much when I was actually admitted with polio but I know for a fact from what I was told that I was absolutely totally paralyzed so maybe that's also a reason why I don't have much memory of it I do recall when those the nurse and the doctor entered the room and tried to make me walk initially, I couldn't. The days I actually started giving my first steps towards the doctor was the day I started my recovery. In total, I spent about a year in that hospital when I was sent home. The, I don't have much impairment except in my eye and some muscles in my back, which is not really noticeable. But this was only discovered later in life when I was in Cape Town at the hospital because I had started getting spinal problems. And um, I've established that there were some muscles missing in my back that never uh, recovered properly. And I have a deficiency in my, one of my eyes which, for which I now have to wear glasses. But that's the only impairment that I have. Um, like I said, when I contracted polio, I was about three or four years old. And I've always been under the impression that my recovery was due to the fact that I was given a vaccine of some kind which facilitated my recovery. But I have lately researched the development of the polio vaccine and only discovered that I, it was made available in South Africa in 1956, which was two, three years after I contracted polio. So my recovery is not as a result of any vaccine, but something that my body actually made as an antibody to, re, to, to, to fight this the, the polio virus. And I also believe that there was an epidemic in, in Port Elizabeth in 1953-1954 where a lot of people actually contracted this virus. And uh, it was very little was known about it because, as like I said, it was, I was put in an open ward with other people and uh, somebody with polio who died that night was actually in that ward with me. And it's an airborne virus. Uh, that is how little 
was known about it at the time. Having recovered from a deadly strain of, of polio, I consider myself extremely lucky, like second chance at life. And I would encourage everybody to be vaccinated. And this process must never stop because this disease must never come back. Um, I've had a very active and fulfilling life after polio. But um, like I say, I was extremely lucky. Thank you.